So you want to know how to back up your stuff here in DaVinci Resolve. We're going to talk about that. I'm going to show you how we can go from macro, backing up everything, down to backing up smaller things like our individual timelines. Today's video is sponsored by Motion Array, and I'm going to show you later in the video how I back up all of the assets that I download from someplace like Motion Array. But first, let's get into the macro backing up our entire project library or database here in DaVinci Resolve. Let's check it out. So on the macro level, backing up our entire database, which includes all of our project files. Let's go ahead and go to our project manager, which is the little house icon. That's going to go ahead and bring up all of our projects here. Now you can be in your cloud database, your network database, or your local database. And if you can't see that, if you don't see your project libraries, make sure you click on the little icon right here. And in order to back up the entire thing, we can come to the little I next to your database. And we have right here, we have backup. Go ahead and click backup. Then Resolve will ask you, where do you want to save your database backup? I have a location where I put the date and I've got all of my databases backed up here. Now, I think it's important that you should always back up the entire database anytime before you upgrade versions of DaVinci Resolve. I think that's super important. And then furthermore, I would back up your database, your, your project library here, at least once a month just to have it just in case you need it. Now, another thing to keep in mind is that backing up the project database or the project library like this does not back up all of your media. It only backs up the project files that are stored within the database that tell DaVinci Resolve where to find everything and what your edit is in your projects. So all your projects are saved. You can save all of them in one shot, just like this by backing up the entire database. Now, what if you only want to back up one particular project? How do you do that? Let's check it out. So to back up one particular project, you can come to any project that you want. In this case, I'm gonna to go to this one right here, Aux Bus for Effects and Efficiency. I'm gonna right click on there and we're gonna come down to either Export Project or Export Project Archive right here. Now Export Project is just the DaVinci Resolve project file, whereas Export Project Archive is the entire, everything you need for your project. So all of your media, Everything's in there, including the DaVinci Resolve project file. So if you're handing it off to somebody else who doesn't have the media, you can go ahead and use the project archive option, and that's going to be your best bet. Now, this will back up the individual project or create another export of that project. So that way you can bring it back into Resolve. You can save it with the project if you want. You can have it wherever you want to keep it, and the individual project is backed up. Now, if you want to restore your project library or your project database, here's how you do that. Again, in the project manager here, you have this icon right here, restore. And if you can't see that, if you don't see your project libraries, make sure you click on the little icon right here. Go ahead and click on restore. Go ahead and find the project database that you want to load. Hit open and it will load that project database right back into your project library here. And if you want to reload up your individual project that you may have exported, just come in your project manager, right click and choose import project, go find that project file and you should be good to go. Now let's take a step down a little bit and we're going to talk about saving in individual projects. So inside the individual project. So in DaVinci Resolve here, I've got a random project open. I'm going to come to the DaVinci Resolve menu down to preferences. I want to go to the user section at the top and project load and save. Now the first one that you should have checked on is live save right here. Live save is going to save every change that you make immediately. So as soon as you make a change, it's going to save it for you. That way you never run the risk of losing anything. Should you accidentally crash out or something happens to your project or your computer, you should be saving every time you make a change. Now, this does not slow down a program at all, at least not that I've found, but I would recommend that you keep Live Save turned on. The next one we have here is Project Backups. Now, Project Backups says, how often should I back up this project while you're working on it? And if we look down below that, we've got a different intervals that we can use to perform the backups every, I have it on five minutes, and then it does hourly backups for the past 10 hours and daily backups for the past 15 days. So you can change these to be whatever you want. I like it like this, just so I don't lose too much information if something should happen and my computer crashes or, or something, who knows what happens. I like to have these kind of set more frequently so that way I'm not losing as much data should anything happen. And then we have timeline backups. So what this is going to do is back up your individual timelines in your project. Now, the cool part about this is that it will work even if live save here is not turned on, it'll still save your timeline backups. Now, if you're using project backups and timeline backups here, 
in backup location, you can select where you want those to be saved. Now, I prefer to have these go to an external hard drive just so I don't clog up my internal hard drive. I use external SSDs and they work out really great for all of the backups and the cache files that DaVinci Resolve needs. So let's take a quick look on how to load up your project backups if you have them turned on, as well as your timeline backups if you have those turned on. So in order to load up a project backup, open up your project manager, come to the project that you're trying to load a backup for. So in this case, I'm on this project right here, audio automation. All you have to do is right click on there, come down to project backups. And if you have any backups saved, they're gonna appear right here. So you can select one and then load it back up and it'll reload up that project backup for you. You can also delete them if you don't want them there anymore. If you wanna load a timeline backup, we're gonna come into our media pool. We're gonna find the timeline we're currently in, YouTube video. So I'm gonna right click on the timeline, say find timeline in the media pool. Here's my timeline. Now, if I right click on my timeline, I can come down to restore timeline backup. And we can see right here, all the different times at which my timeline was saved. So I can select any one of these and it's gonna bring it in as a new timeline in my media pool. So let's just pick this first one. And we can see right here, YouTube vid backup right here. It loaded it up as a brand new timeline. It did not overwrite my current timelines because here's the timeline I was in and here is that backup. Let's take a minute to talk about the sponsor of today's video and that is Motion Array. I love Motion Array. I have been using their stuff for a long time. There is a ton of awesome stuff there. My favorite things to get in there and use by far are all of the overlays. They have all kinds of awesome overlays from light leaks and lens flares to little animated graphics to different pop-ups to explosions to all kinds of overlays that I just love and I use them all the time. And they can really enhance your video by adding a little something like this. Then I say I love those explosions. And if I didn't use them and love them, I wouldn't be telling you guys about them. So if you do need some high quality assets for your videos, I recommend you go over to Motion Array, hit the link up in the description below, check them out, see if they have something that is of interest to you and that you might find helpful for making your videos. So big thank you to Motion Array for sponsoring today's video. Really appreciate you guys. You have awesome stuff. And uh, just thank you for contributing to the creator community here and giving us awesome assets to work with. So now that we've backed everything up here in DaVinci Resolve and we have our projects backed up and we're live saving and we're making sure we don't lose anything when it comes to our projects here in Resolve, you need to make sure you're backing up your media as well because those methods do not back up your media. So we need a way to back up our media. There's lots of ways you can do it. Maybe you have a whole bunch of external hard drives that you uh, back your stuff up on. Maybe you have a NAS drive that's attached to your network and that works out great too. But if you're like me and you have terabytes and terabytes and terabytes of stuff that you wanna keep backed up, along with tons of assets that I've downloaded from Motion Array over the years that I've been using them, I don't wanna lose all that stuff. So I use something called Backblaze. It's a great cloud backup system it costs you a hundred bucks a year and it's unlimited data for personal use. And as a solo creator here, that's personal use. So you can back up as much stuff as you need to for a cost effective price. So be sure, however you do it, that you're backing up your media files, your assets that you've downloaded from wherever you get them. Check out Motion Ray if you need some but you need a good way to have things backed up. It's one of those things we don't want to think about, but when it happens to you, you're like, oh man, devastated because you didn't back everything up. I've gotten so many comments and emails about people who've lost everything because they didn't put these things into place and make sure that you've got backups going should something happen. Because it's not a matter of if something's gonna happen, it's when is it gonna happen? Because with all this computer stuff, it's bound to happen at some point, things are gonna crash, things happen, unexpected things happen and you want to make sure you've got all of your projects backed up for DaVinci Resolve as well as all of your other important things that you may have on your computer and your external hard drives. So there you have it backing up in a nutshell here guys take this advice honestly you have to do this stuff otherwise there's going to be a day that comes you might regret it. And I don't want to see that for any of you guys. So take these tips, use them. I hope it's helpful. If you're interested in Motion Array, check them out. Link in the description below. Thank you so much, Motion Array, for sponsoring today's video. Guys, back up your stuff, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.